It's Reese Rowe with URM, and I'm here with Teresa Davis today. You may know her as the author of Ghetto Misery Uncut, Dope Dick, Hysterectomy of the Hood, Pistol Whip. Hi, Teresa. How are you today? <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. So, how do you begin to write your stories? Well, um, sometimes I take off a complete summer, and I just write for like three or four months. Summer. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, how do you create your characters? Like, what in, what inspires that that idea of the characters to come to life? Well, I grew up in the inner city, Preston Street, Patterson Park. So I can just look out my front door, yeah. and I got I got so many ideas, <laughs> and then I incorporate them with my own imagination. Okay. So, are most of your stories fictional or nonfiction? Well, I like to say this: they're a twist of both. Because sometimes things, these accounts did happen, but I make a story out of that account. Okay, okay. So where do you, where do you write your stories? Like, where does your creativity really, you know, hit an all-time high for you? Um, basically, in the wee hours of the morning, when everybody sleep, if I have a dream, I get up and I just start writing. Yeah. So, are any of your stories from any of the dreams that you've had? Oh yeah, yeah. a lot of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, all right, and you also do other things too. And could you let the viewers know what else that you know you? I don't change pampers. I am a grandmother. I do not change pampers. Your grandmother? Yes, I have three. three. You look so young. You a young grandmommy. I hear that. Okay. I have three grandchildren, but um, I also am a spoken word artist. I am a director. I'm a film director. I do video treatments. So, like, some people don't know what to do with their music. I give them an idea, storyline, and storyboard for people. Okay, that's cool. And you I just film. I'm, a film, I'm a filmmaker. I also film my own movies as well. Okay, I see you. Okay, they see you too. Yeah, see you. <laughs> um, so, right now, you are in the midst of a reality show. Oh, yeah. The reality show is called Lord They Done Freed Chris. Lord They Done Freed Chris. They Done Freed him. <laughs> it's a show based around my husband and my family. My husband is, unfortunately, he was charged with robbing a bank. So he did five years in jail. He just came home. And I filmed segments of the movie before he came home. Things like me at home, me opening the mail, bills. Right, to give people a, a real in-depth look of reality. like what's really going on in reality, yeah. dealing him with that. Missing parties, missing, you know, milestones, him missing funerals, things like that. Missing the birth of grandchildren. I filmed these accounts, and so when he came home, we just put him right where he needed to be. Start off with jumping right back in our, our family. So I, I named it Law That Didn't Free Chris. Okay, well, I can't wait until it airs because I'm definitely going to be watching. And you also have a radio show, too. Yeah. Um, tell us about that. That's Teresa Speaks, You Listen, correct? Teresa Davis Speaks, and you listen. That's the name of it. Um, it's um, you have to listen.com, YTHL. You can go to the online app and download it. And the show was given to me, surprisingly, by uh, Kevin Wilder. He's like, you want your own show? I was interviewed, and they called me a couple days later. Want your own segment? It's like, uh, I don't know. Let me get back to you. So then I called. I was like, sure. And it's been a great avenue to to address the rappers here in Baltimore, the local rappers, um, uh, other filmmakers, other producers like myself. And it's been nothing but fun. That's fine. Okay. And um, just let the viewers know where they can um, see your work, reach you, um, you know, social media and everything, so they can go ahead and hop up on and see what they've been missing if they haven't been, you know. <laughs> I'll let you, girl. Okay. Um, the first movie I, I'm, I did is Ghetto Misery Uncut. It's going to be dropped sometime in 2015. It's, it derives from my first book. Okay. Now, the second movie I, I'm, I did is... The Last Laugh, it involves a lot of people from Baltimore. And then there's Ambiblical Court, it invo involves a lot of people from out of town and Baltimore. So I also did a movie called Woodkill. I shot it entirely by myself. And um, shout out to Ma for the B-Rolls, it was awesome. So that's gonna come out as well. And I have so many movies, I get confused. Uh, Laced, starring Mama Jones, Jim Jones' mom. That's coming out soon. And Ghetto Music Uncut also has Gilly the Kid in it. So if you want to see my movies, just go to my Teresa Davis page on YouTube. 
and, and, and keep up with me so you can see when everything's gonna drop. It's gonna be at the theater near you. And you can also go to my IG page, underscore, underscore, Teresa Davis, T-E-R-E-S-A, Davis, underscore, underscore. So there's two underscores in Teresa Davis and two more underscores. Um, that's my IG page. I try to keep you up abreast of what's going on and what's coming out. Because I have a lot of projects. I also work with Hazy TV. Um, we have a very big project coming out. It's called Carnage. Okay. Starring myself, also starring my husband, Chris, Lottie Free Chris, and my son and my nephew, my son, Stephen Kelly, and my nephew, Michael Swan. A whole ton of people and Coco of the 12 O'Clock Boys. Okay. Yes, <laughs> I'm also doing her reality show. It's called Coco and the Kids. Oh. It's a spring off, a, it's a spin off from the 12 O'Clock Boys uh, documentary, which is now you can see in Showtime. It's also gonna be about how the kids grew up. Cause he was a little teeny boy when Biker Boy Pug did that show. Now he's an uh, adult, he's uh, 18 I think. Okay, so you have a busy year coming up and you stay busy. So how do you manage to, um how do you manage to keep everything organized and you know keep a keep a clear head and everything you know so you can stay focused? Ooh. Well, I ignore the 800 call. That's bill collectors because I'm doing this with no budget. So when I see the 800 call, I just swipe it right. the other way. <laughs> so that's one way. And another way is I have to stay busy because a lot of time I generated on my hands because my husband was gone for four and a half, close to five years. So I kind of dove into my work. And now that's the place I like to be, my work. I love to film, I love to act. I'm also an actress, I play in Where I'm From, the reality show. I'm sorry, Where I'm From is a web series by Keith Eric and uh, Tony Martin. I um, play a drug counselor in that movie. I play in several music videos as well. I do cameos for a lot of you rappers out there. So, I've also had the pleasure of filming T.I. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what um, did you film for him? Um, they did something in D.C. for um, the Women's Festival, and um, I filmed him. I filmed Tori Hart, which is Kevin Hart's ex-wife. I did a day in the life of Tori Hart. Right. Well, guys, we have Teresa Davis with us, and it has been a pleasure. And just be looking out in 2015 for because she's coming with a bang. I hope you guys have outfits because I got a lot of things for you to come to. Get that wardrobe together. <laughs> it's Teresa Rowe, and that's fashion.